Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to create the Williams percent art indicator to create buy and sell signals for a stock. Now I'm currently on Google's website it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So if you're going to code along with me go ahead and go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on file then I'm going to click on new notebook where a new tab will open up for me and eventually a new cell will open up for me. Now in this cell I'm going to import the libraries that I need to use for this program. So I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and I'm going to import pandas as pd. And then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and this will let me know if I made any mistakes. Also before we begin or continue, if you like the videos on the channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button. And to be notified about new videos from the channel, hit that bell notification. Also, you can get the code or data set or just support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. And I will leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so if we go ahead and continue. We're going to click on this code button in the top left to create a new cell. And now, I want to upload the stock data and this is actually a good time to also say that the material in this video is purely educational. So I'm going to come over here click this folder I'm going to click upload here and run upload this CSV file. I get a little warning and that's okay so I'm going to click OK and now we have our TSLA underscore stock underscore data dot CSV file and this data contains stock data for Tesla. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called stock. I'm going to set it equal to pd.read underscore csv, and we're going to input the name of that file, which is tsla underscore stock underscore data dot csv. And then I want to show the data. So I'm just going to type stock here, and let's go ahead and exit here and run this cell. All right, and now we can see the, the data for Tesla stock. We have 251 rows of data. We have seven columns, those columns being the date column, the open price column, the high price column, the low price column, the close price column, and the adjusted close price column, and the volume. Okay? But what I also see here is that the indices have integer values, and I want them to instead be the date. So I want our indices to be the date. All right, so to do that, I'm just going to add a few parameters to our read underscore csv method so i'm going to add parse underscore dates i'm going to set it equal to true and then index underscore call set that equal to our date column and let's go ahead and run this again and now we can see that the indices are the dates and that's good so i'm going to create a new cell and now in this cell i want to create a function or create the function to get the Williams percent R values. And before we do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Williams R percent indicator. So this indicator was developed by the trader and author named Larry Williams, a renowned trader and author named Larry Williams. The Williams percentage R is a momentum-based oscillator used in technical analysis to identify potential reversal points in the market, and a reading above negative 20 is considered overbought, and a reading below negative 80 is considered oversold. Okay? So with all that, let's go ahead and define our function. Let's give our function a name, get underscore WR, which will be short for get Williams percent R we need to take in the high value, we need to take in the low values, we need to take in the close price, we need to take in a look back time period. Okay, so there is an equation for this and I will be using that equation here in the function. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the highest high value. So I'm gonna create a variable called high with an extra H. I'm gonna set it equal to our high from our parameter dot rolling and we're going to give this a look back period from our parameters as well 
and we're going to put dot max here because we want the highest high value for that look back period then we'll create a variable called low with an extra l this will be our lowest low value so we're going to use that low from our parameter dot rolling with a look back underscore period dot min so we want the lowest low value for that look back period and then we're going to create the the value using the equation so I'm going to create a variable called wr which again will be short for Williams percent r I'm going to set this equal to negative 100 times and this is just the function that is available you can find it anywhere online so negative 100 times the highest high value minus the close price or the highest high price minus the close price I keep using value and price interchangeably divided by the highest high price minus the lowest low price okay and then I'm going to return WR and let's go ahead and run this cell and that looks good alright so let's go ahead and create a new cell and now I want to calculate the the Williams percent R with a look back period of 14 days and store it into a variable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that stock data frame that we already have and I'm just going to create a new column so we're going to store this in stock with a new column that we're going to call WR underscore 14 short for Williams percentage R uh, let me say it again short for Williams percentage R 14 period look back alright so I'm going to set that equal to get underscore WR which is our function that we created we're going to input we're going to input the high price we're going to input the low price we're going to input the close price and we're going to input the look back period which is 14 days so I'm just going to put 14 here all right and of course these are columns in our data frame Th that high that low and that close all come from our data frame up top here you can see high low and close okay all right oops did not mean to create text let's delete that let's go ahead and run this cell okay that looks good so we have our new column in our data frame let's create a new cell now and I want to generate buy and sell signals okay so I'm gonna create a variable called buy underscore signals I'm gonna set this equal to stock where stock stock column WR underscore 14 is less than or equal to negative 80 and remember when it's when it has a reading below negative 80 it is considered oversold right so if it's oversold then we want to buy it so this is correct here I'm going to get the close price when that condition is met all right and I'm going to do the same thing for sale but just change a few things so I'm going to copy all this I'm going to highlight it I'm going to copy using control C I'm going to come down and paste it using control V and change a few things so we'll be sell signals instead of buy signals I'm going to set it equal to this same column here and instead of being less than or equal to it's going to be greater than or equal to negative 20 and again a reading above negative 20 is considered overbought so that's when you want to sell right you want to sell when it's high and you want to buy when it's low okay so let's go ahead and run this all right and let's create a new cell okay so now I want to plot the data and the Williams percent R so I'm gonna create a figure so I'm gonna type plt dot figure I'm gonna give this figure a figure size and I'm gonna set it equal to 14 inches by 7 inches so that's 14 inches wide 7 inches high and then I'm going to plot the close price so I'm gonna type in stock close 
and give this a label. So the label will be equal to close price. Okay, and then I am going to also plot the Williams percentage R 14 day look back. So type plt dot plot stock wr underscore 14. The label will be equal to Williams percent R 14 day. All right, and now, oops, and now. I'm going to use a scatter plot to plot our buy and sell signals. So I'm going to type plt dot scatter buy underscore signals dot index and then put in buy underscore signals. So this time I'm actually using the x and the uh, y axis. So buy underscore signals dot index would be the x axis and by underscore signals would be our y axis. All right, so anyways, I'm going to set the label equal to by signal. And the marker will be equal to the up character and the color will be equal to green. Okay, and let's just highlight all of this. Copy using control C and come down and paste it using control V. So all I did was just copy it using control C and pasted it using control V because I'm just going to change a few things for the sell signal because it's very very similar so instead of buy I'm putting sell underscore signals dot index instead of buy signals here I'm putting sell underscore uh, underscore signals and instead of buy signal here I'm going to put sell signal and instead of the marker being up the marker will be down or in this case the character V and instead of the color being green I'm going to put red okay so right now I just showed you kind of two different ways to plot one where I didn't use both axis and the other one where I did for the scatter plots. All right. Okay. So also I want to plot those lines where it's being oversold and overbought. So I'm going to type plt dot xh line and I'm going to set y equal to negative negative 80 and the color here will be color will be equal to green. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the letter G here. It'll be the same thing. The line style will be equal to a dash. And this is oversold, I believe, right? So negative 80 is considered oversold. And that's when we want to buy. I'm going to put it's oversold it's oversold we want to buy okay and then similarly for the negative 20 line we're going to do basically the same thing so plt dot x h line and we're going to change just a few things right so y is going to be equal to negative 20 instead of negative 80 and the color I'm going to use will be red so I can type in red here or I can just put an R it'll be the same thing and then line style equal to that dash all right and I'm gonna put it's overbought we want to sell okay all right so we're almost done I'm going to give the x-axis a label so type plt dot x label it will be the date right and then I'm going to give the y-axis a label so type plt dot y label and it will be the price slash Williams percent R and then I want to give this plot a title so I'm going to type plt dot title and it will be stock price with Williams percent R let's go ahead and get that legend so type plt dot legend so we can see all those labels and I want this to be a grid so I'm going to type plt dot grid and put in true and then I want to show the plot. So I'm going to type plt dot show. And there we go. Hopefully everything is correct here. Let's go ahead and run this cell. And let's see what we get. All right. So we can see our plot or our graph here. We can see our title. We can see our label on the y axis, our label on the x axis. 
we can see the Williams percentage R down here on this graph and obviously whenever it's a above that red line it is considered overbought and when it's below that green line it is considered oversold so those are indicators of when to buy and sell so we sell when it crosses above that red line we buy when it crosses below the green line all right and then we can see that happening with the the scatter plot portion of our buy and sell signals so we can see the green here has a up arrow when when that value is below the green line here and then also we can see right here this Williams percentage R value goes above the red line and that's an indication to sell okay so this indicator is not perfect on its own but at least we were able to see how this kind of worked and see what it looks like and what I think I will do in another video is I will take this indicator and I will try to create a better strategy using this indicator alright so thank you all for watching the video and a special thanks to the patreon supporters on patreon.com again if you would like to become a supporter of this channel or get the code or just the data sets then I will leave a link to the patreon page which again is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below thanks for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video bye bye